I hate the stretches anymore. They hand out tickets like Skittles and everybody's pulling off or onto the roadway and it always bogs you up and everything else. And it's just a bunch of bullshit. That's all it is. It's just fucking fuck this little fucking stretch of road. Fucking bullshit it a fuck 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 it a not sure what that was all about. But let's proceed as if it didn't happen. So I've spoke on the oh shit moments of riding a motorcycle. Now let's talk about thoughts on your first crash. Now, I could do the simple thing of sit here and say, don't crash, crashy bad. Crashy slide down asphalt bad. It's really bad, it's expensive. And it's your premium go through the roof if you even have insurance. If you don't have insurance, yeah, fucking move on. If you don't have insurance, you might want to go grab you some. Cause you're now that I mention it, you're due to crash. So let's take the little bit different approach to this uh, thoughts on people crashing and whatnot, and let's take it to other people's thoughts on your crash. Now, I've seen lots of crash videos on YouTube because I'm on YouTube, and YouTube is basically uh, fake thumbnails of naked women, crash videos, and videos of road rage from Russia, and the occasional guy who sits down and compiles all these videos and makes fun of them and becomes rich off of them. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a couple of YouTubers out there that are legitimately good. Uh, a great under A. I fucking love that guy, man. He's awesome. Fucking hilarious, dude. Huge fan. Like, he's, he's right with, Now, not that my channel's huge or anything, but you should go sub to him if you are a royal... Uh, yeah, if you are a royal follower... I can see it now. The Queen of England subs to a great under A. That'd be great. He'd love that. All right, you little bastards. Everyone get out your textbooks and turn to page 69. Okay. <gasps> uh, okay, class, listen, today we're going to learn about 3D shapes, so, uh, we're all going to Egypt to learn about pyramids! Hey! <laughs> Sorry, great, I had to steal that. You know, the Couch Valentino Rossi's and Nick and Hayden's of the world, Nick and Hayden, Nicky Hayden's, the Couch Valentino Rossi's and Nicky Hayden's of the fucking world, analyzing your crash video. Now obviously hindsight's always 2020 and some crashes are just yeah he, he had it coming you know it's some of them are like that but the vast majority of them are just like well shit you were doing everything right but you lost traction you're doing everything right but there was gravel you were doing everything right but you hit a squirrel I don't know you're doing everything right and you saw some boobies and you smacked into a light pole these things all happen man it's all part of life it sucks. So we go down. I mean, I've gone down numerous times, thankfully at low speeds and nothing too catastrophic. And I'm trying to play it safe. But part of driving a car is one day you're probably going to have an accident. Part of driving a bike is one day you're probably going to lay it down. That being said, who the fuck are these twats? Now, I understand if the dude's like just being a complete douche, like the street killer guy who fucking low sided up at Dill's Gap. We all saw that. But the most common fucking comment in the world, high performance bike with low performance rider. Now to be perfectly fucking fair, I have seen some people crash golf carts. Now, what with them? Or what about the guy who loops out a Grom in a parking lot? That is certainly not a high performance bike. And if it is, that's a, if that's the case, how low performance of a rider can be before he's a fucking carrot? Rob Schneider is a Wall Street executive with everything going for him. Only problem is, he's about to become a carrot. I'm a carrot. Another one, your tire was too cold. How the fuck do you know? You watched like two minutes of video. Yeah, they may have stopped. They may have stopped turning on their cameras. That is not long enough time for your tire to get cold. You have no idea if the tire was cold. Okay? For all you know, he just took that tire out of the fucking oven and mounted that shit up at 350 degrees. You know, but maybe put a little bit of icing on it and voila hot tire then he was a woman and now rob schneider is a stapler and he's about to find out that being a stapler is harder than it looks Rob Schneider is the stapler, rated PG-13. 